Yo, what up everyone? This is Brian Bracamontes, also known as Teleco760. Subscribe to or follow my YouTube channel, Twitch channel, and Instagram. Yo, what up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. A continuation to my PC build um, components unboxing. Uh, this next box is going to contain like five items and I will name them all, uh, name the prices that when I bought them and the current prices as of today, October 24th and uh, right now it is about 6.30 p.m. So um, let's get on with this unboxing. Links will be in the description. So let's see which, what we have in this box. This one is really full. Alright, so I can see in this box it's really full. So it looks like this is the Samsung expandable storage. Expand the storage of your device, speed up to 200 megabytes per second. This is the Samsung Fit Plus uh, 32 gig model. And um, let's see what this is. This is the RAM Corsair's IQ Vengeance RGB Pro. 2 gigabytes, uh, total of 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz RAM. Let's see what else. Whoa, I'm, it's like I'm a magician, you guys. All right, what is this small box? This is the storage, the actual SSD. This is the Samsung B NAND SSD 970 EVO Plus NVMe.2. Woo, these names. All right, and here is the graphics card. This is a big box for just the graphics card, but okay. This is the Gigabit AMD Radeon 5700X. Uh, it's the RX 5700 XT. Whatever. I'll flip it over for you guys to see. I'll let you guys see, get a close up on it. And this is the last box. There's nothing else in there, as you can see. Nothing but bubble wrap. Um, this is the motherboard. It's the ASUS Tough Gaming motherboard. The uh, X570 uh, Plus Wi Fi version. Alright. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five items. Okay, so first off. Let me, let me, let me see, let me see. What is first on the list? The, nope, nope. Samsung, okay, Samsung Muff. So this thing right here. Okay, so this thing, Samsung MUF 32 AB AM. This is, I'm just reading what Amazon uh, titles it has. Uh, AM Fit Plus 32 gigabyte 200 MBS. USB 3.1 flash drive. Okay, so this one will cost me $8.99 on Amazon. I'm gonna click on the link to see its current price. It's still $8.99, okay? So you save a dollar and it's currently in stock. Um, again, things change. So I will give you a close up on this little package. Okay. Like opening credits in Star Wars. All right, so this is it right here. Not much of an unboxing for this one. It's just, I'll just leave it in here. You guys know what a little, um, the little dongles or USB dongles or USB receivers for like mouses and stuff. It looks like that. Um, I don't think there's any need to open it up. I'll just keep it right there. All right, now for the SSD. SSD, hold up, let me get the info. The info up on the SSD. So Amazon has it titled as Samsung, in parentheses, MZ V7 S1 TOB uh, forward slash AM, ending parentheses, 970 Evo Plus SSD, one terabyte M.2 NVMe, interface internal solid state drive with VNAM technology. This cost me $162.74 when I bought it. Currently, it is at one sixty-four and seventy-one cents. So let's see if the price went down. Nope, it went up. And let's see, it's currently in stock. All right, let me give you guys a close-up. Here's the box, the Samsung. It's one terabyte. There's the name of it. There's a bunch of stuff on here. Um, for English, for more detailed warranty and production information, please visit the website. Blah blah blah. Unreal performance. There's not much to tell with this, except it's a. Oh, look, it says made in Thailand right there. Thailand. Okay. So, I will actually open this up so you guys can see it yeah, closer. It's really small, so I don't think I'll sit down over there for you guys to see what it looks like. Uh, oh, I guess I do have to use the knife. All right, I'll sit down for this.
Alright. Nothing else in here. It's in like a little plastic case thing. Alright. And here's the SSD. It gives you like I'll give you guys a close up. You guys deserve a close up for this little tiny thing. So I took the plastic thing off and it has a little thing so you can grab it. There it is right there. That is the solid state drive. I'll put that back. You gotta be very careful with the small components. This connects to the motherboard that's over here. A lot of these stuff gets connected to the motherboard. The motherboard needs to go on the PC case. And yeah. Next is the IQ Vengeance RGB Pro. Let me give you that close up on that. Sixteen gigs total, so it's two eight gigabytes. Okay, let's see the pricing on this thing. Pricing on this seventy four ninety nine, so seventy five bucks. Currently at eighty five ninety nine, and it is in stock right now. So I will open this up. Did this thing? No. Did it have everything else to read off? All right, so. Paperwork, nothing else in the box. Put the paperwork back in the box. So here is the RGB Pro. It's see-through, so I'm not gonna take it out of the packaging, but you can see there's two of them. So this is the RAM that goes into the motherboard. There's a title of it. Here's the other side of it. So these two, okay. Um, I believe the motherboard could hold up to four, but this is two of them, connect two of them, and then you can have four, like I can order another one and have a total of 32 gigs. Or um, by the 16 gig um, single, like every single one is 16 gig, 16 gig, 16 gig. That'll equal 32, and then I'll buy two more of that, and it'll equal 64 gigs. But that's overkill and too much, too expensive. So I do not need that much. I, I believe not yet. Now, okay, let's see what it says back here. Oh, different languages. Where's the English one? Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro Series DD4 memory lights up your PC with mesmerizing dynamic multi-zone RGB lighting while delivering the best in DDR4 perform performance stability. Every module boasts 10 RGB LEDs to deliver a stunning lighting experience powered by Corsair's IQ software for in-depth lighting control and system-wide Corsair lighting synchronization. I'm not going to read the Spanish one, even though I can. All right. Next thing, the uh, Gigabit... Uh, Graphics card? This is the graphics card. So the graphics card is the Gigabit Radeon RX 5700 XT gaming overclockable 8 gigabyte graphics card. PCLE 4.0. Uh, it repeats the 8 gigabytes. 256 bit GDDR6. GPRFR 57 XT gaming OC 8 GD Rev 2.2. Amazon just made the title simpler. Um, this cost me $419.99. So $420. Uh, current price of it is the same. And it gives you. Yep, it's in stock. All right, I'm gonna actually show you guys both of these at the, kind of the same time so I can hurry up with this video. So, motherboard, give you the pricing of it. Let's see if I can find it first. Okay, the Asus AM4 Tough Gaming X570 Plus Wi-Fi ATX motherboard with PCLE 4.0 dual M.2 12 plus 2 with Dr. Mo's Power Stage HDMI DP SATA 6 gigabits per second USB 3.2 Gen 2 and Aura Sync RGB lighting. It cost me $189.99, condition was new. Current pricing is at $179.99, so $10 less than what I purchased before. All right, it says available to ship. Where is, is it in stock though? Yes, it is in stock, I believe. It's saying available to ship in one or two days. It's saying that the renewed version is in stock, but it's not saying. Basically, this one is in stock. I'll put the link in the description. All right, and I give you the pricing for that one, I believe. Yes, four hundred twenty dollars, basically, and that's pretty much it for all the items. Um, I'll keep my la my tablet away and show you guys what's on the box. Okay, first the motherboard. Oh, here's the motherboard. Here is the side of it. And here is the back side of it. Alright. All this stuff and information is on um, their official webpage. So all you have to do is Google ASUS and then type in the um, 
the name of this motherboard, Asus Tough Gaming, that right there. That is what you type into Google, and then go to Asus's uh, web official website, and they'll be able to give you details on this. If you guys can't see this clearly, all that is on there. And time to read what is on the back of this. You guys do not like hearing me. You guys can skip a little bit further. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. So, all right. Back panel I/O port. It says one Display port, one HDMI port, one P uh, forward slash two combo port, one LAN RJ45 port, two uh, one two by two Wi-Fi module, three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports or two Type A and one Type C, four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, five audio jacks plus one optical S forward slash PDI out. Okay, for the USB, three USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports at back panel. I'm not gonna read that. Six USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, two ports at midboard, four ports at back panel, four USB 2.0, uh, 2.0 ports, I mean, four ports at midboard. Okay, LAN. For the LAN exclusive Realtek, this is the, the Wi Fi modem that comes with this. Uh, let's see, exclusive Realtek LA 200A Asus Turbo LAN utility, wireless and Bluetooth, Intel wireless AC 9260, 2x2 two two Wi Fi 5. 802.11a 4 slash b 4 slash g 4 slash n 4 slash ac i don't know what that stands for if someone understands what i'm reading off please put comments um, down in the bottom answer their questions for me uh with mu uh dash memo support dual frequency band 2.4 4 slash 5 gigahertz it has bluetooth 5 basically okay audio features exclusive real tech S1200 A H channel high definition audio codec exclusive DTS custom for gaming headsets audio shielding ensures precision analog digital separation and greatly reduces multilateral interface dedicated audio PCB layers separate layers for left and right channels to guard the quality of sensitive audio signals premium Japanese audio capacitors provide warm natural and immersive sound exceptional clarity and fidelity <laughs> supports jack detection and uh, front panel jack retasking. Audio cover, effective shielding, preserves the integrity of audio signals to ensure best quality. Ooh, a lot of info. CPU for the CPU AMD AM4 socket, third and second gen AMD Ryzen uh, 4 slash second and first gen AMD Ryzen with Radeon Vega graphics processors. That's basically saying those CPUs work on this motherboard. Chipset AMD uh, X570 memory. It has four DIMM max, 128 gigabyte DD4, 4400 overclockable MH megahertz. I mean. Unpreferred memory, dual channel memory architecture. The memory frequency support varies by processors. Okay, VGA, integrated graphics in the second and first gen AMD Ryzen with Radeon Vega graphic processors. Multi VGA output support HDMI for slash display ports. Uh, display port ports. <laughs> for the storage, again, this is the motherboard I'm reading off. Storage, it has one M.2, one socket, three with M key type 2242 4 slash 2260 4 slash 2280 4 slash 2110 storage devices support. SATA, MPCIE 4.0, 4 slash 3.0 times or X, 4 mode. Uh, one M.2 socket, three with M, same information after that. 8 times 8 SATA 6 gigabyte per second ports. Expansion slots, it has one PCLE 4.0, one PCLE 4.0. Um, one is a time 16 mode, one is max at X4 mode, and then it has two PCLE 4.0 uh, X1 or time 1. Ugh, even I'm getting bored. Anyways, Aura and Sync, I have some pictures of stuff. Took Gaming Alliance, PCLE Gen 4.0 support game network solution. Okay, let's get on with the unboxing. Oh, okay, didn't have to cut anything open. Let's do this somewhat quick as possible so all right so this comes out and here's a bunch of paperwork I mean, this is the user guide this is certificate certificate of reliability and this is what numbers for like the warranty contact info update notification okay some cables don't know what it is i'll figure it out this is my first time building pc again um, some screws or nuts or whatever you call them. Um, and this is the I.O. port thing. This is where you connect it on your PC case um, and then make sure it clicks on and then you put your I.O. ports out. And yep, that's pretty much it. That's all that comes in this box. We put everything back in that box so I don't want any of that stuff to get damaged. I'm gonna I'll do that right now. So here's the motherboard in plastic. I am not gonna take it out. I'm just gonna give you guys somewhat of a close up to it. All right, and I'm um, gonna see what's in this little cubby over here. Is the Wi-Fi modem. So let me give you guys a quick 
closer. Here's the Wi-Fi modem. Okay, so it's like a little triangle thing. Actually, I could take this thing apart and open it. Okay, I don't know. I think this is the stand for it, and this is like the fin. Okay, has the ASUS marking on it. Okay, and this connects to the I.O. ports, I believe, in the back. Put that back in there. There's a triangle stand. And I believe this could go on top of your uh, desktop uh, PC case. All right, I will just put this on top. I don't think um, I don't need this. I do need that. Now, this can be put up on the motherboard. Ooh, be extra careful with the motherboard. All right, I know you guys can't really see it. I would suggest you guys go into the website to get a better view on it. With this, you see, it opens through here. This is a motherboard, okay, ATX motherboard. You have to be extremely careful with this. And I don't even think I should be even holding it up like this, but I just want to give you guys kind of at the best unboxing or bagging, unbagging video that I can without messing up the components that I spent so much money on. Okay, let's get this back in the safety box. Don't lose any of the items. Uh, I'm not sure how. This is, this stuff is starting to make me feel like it's gonna be more complicated than I think, but some people out there who have built PCs will be like, no, after you get used to it, you'll get used to it, and then afterwards you'll be like, oh, it's so easy. But until after this one, then I'll have some sort of experience on it. And uh, this is already... Did I read any of this stuff back here? I'm not sure. Key features, RDNA, architecture, second gen, 7 nm GPU, DDR6 memory, PCI Express 4.0 support, power PC minimum, system requirements, PCI Express compliant motherboard with one uh, at times 16 PC LE slot minimum 600 watts for greater system power supply, minimum 8 gigs of system storage, system gigabyte recommended, 64 bit operating system required, Supported operating systems include Linux, Windows 7, and Windows 10. I'm going to have Windows 10 on it. DirectX 12 and Vulkan support. For information already on VR Ready Premium, visit amd.com uh, VR Ready. So I think I could uh, you play VR games with this. One 6-pin and one 8-pin supplementary power connectors. Well, WinForce 3 times cooling system. RGB Fusion 2.0 protection metal back plate. Uh, the 3 times 18 millimeter unique blade fans feature alternate alternate spinning for efficient dissipation the pure copper heat pipes are shaped to maximize the direct contact area to the gpu uh, to the gpu for enhanced thermal transfer rgb fusion 2.0 with 16.7 uh, capital m customizable color options and numerous lighting effects you can choose lighting effects or synchronize with other porous devices metal black plate does not only provide an aesthetic shape but also enhances the structure of the graphics card to provide, provide complete protection oh jesus so much information just going in one ear out the other. Um, I believe I already let you guys see the case. But I'll do it again. Yeah. Just in case. Whew. There's the case. And here's the back side. The stuff that I read. Alright, and here is the side. Okay. Here's the other side. 8 gigabyte GDR6 right there. That's the title. Google that. If you guys um, skipped. <sighs> All the information or could not understand me when i read it google that gigabit amd radeon rx 5700 xt all right so there you go there's your close-up now let's open this up this is the last item for the videos okay i'm kind of in a rush because I want to, it's like seven o'clock and i have friends waiting for me in war zone so i have to hurry up and guys and uh Get to the war zone. My friends are dying out there. Uh, but anyways, here's the box after the outer case is off. Uh, let's see, which way does it open? It's this way. Bam! You guys get to experience the actual unboxing. I want to experience it with you guys, but I have to have it facing me. And it's boring for you guys, so let's see. What is this? What is in here? I like this case. It's like a little portfolio case. You can actually use this. Paperwork. This is the quick guide. Graphics card quick guide. There's nothing else in here, but look at that. You could use this for something. You, you could use it as like a mailbox or something, or put envelopes in, and then like pin it to your wall or something. Smart. 
Whoa, here is the actual graphics card. I've never ever seen in person or held a graphics card before. Well, I've seen a graphics card on my friend's PC, but it was inside. This is the first time I'm holding it. It's like, it's like yellow tapes and stuff. I think with this one, I am gonna take it out of its bag just so you guys can see what I'm looking at. There's nothing else in, let me see. There's nothing else in here. And just to make sure there's nothing else inside, there you go. I'm gonna put this back in here. Feeling paranoid. I'm gonna put this back in this box after I show you guys. Whoa. I'm sorry I couldn't do this with the motherboard, you guys. But it's like a lot more awkward to hold. And I don't want to drop it accidentally. There is the graphics card. This, these are like the I/O ports. Uh, these things, do they come off? Nope. No, I think they do come out. Yep, they come out. Oh, let's put that back. I do not want to mess this up. Again, I already read off what it has. These are the I/O ports that go behind your case. Look at that. The copper um, heating pipes chip is actually inside behind these fans okay i do not have any more information to give you guys on this besides showing you guys how it looks like i believe it has rgb lighting but i'm not sure not until i connect uh connect the power to it here's the back side that's how it looks like all right i'm gonna put this back you guys all right, that would conclude the uh, unboxing of those five items, okay? Look um, at my YouTube channel for the other parts. I'm gonna name the title of basically all those videos, one through, I believe, three videos that I did. This is the third. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me just put this back in the bag. This is my first, I don't know how fragile these components are. So I'm like baby stepping it. Oh, so paranoid. I'm gonna put it back in the box. And uh, that this is all I have for you guys for the unboxing of this, these items. Okay. Doesn't go in as easy as it came out. Wow. Hmm. I don't even know. Put it in right. There we go. Quick start, guys. Goes in there. All right. Put it in that box now. Nah, I'll just leave it. Right, whatever. All right. That would be it. That is it for my video. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you so much for being so patient with me. Uh, anyways, that will conclude this video. You guys know what to do. Give me a like, a dislike, comment, subscribe. And uh, until next time, you guys, peace out.